hey guys welcome back to coding stuff and in this video we'll see how we can create custom tab layout in kotlin so i have created one empty project and in the activity main you can see uh, we just have this text view so the first thing that i'm gonna do i'll remove this text view and i'll go to the values the themes I'll, I'll make it no action bar or app theme and i'll also change this color to the color which i have added which is light purple let me remove this okay so this one is the hex code you can have this color or you can have your own color so let me just close this and okay so we'll start to work on activity main now so we will be using our tab layout and view pager 2 so first of all i'll, I'll just write tab layout for material this one i'll make it a uh, 0 dp width and i'll select height as a 50 dp okay let's just constrain this i'll constrain it horizontally in parent and i'll constrain its top to top of parent cool so we need to add some properties to our tab layout so let's just add some properties first will be tab mode i'll select fixed one then tab indicator gravity i'll select uh, stretch then i'll select tab indicator animation mode and i'll select elastic tab selected item color selected text color I'll use white then I'll use tab indicator color and this will be null and now the important property which we will require is tab indicator okay so we need to create one drawable for that so I'll just open this project I'll go to the drawables I'll click on new and then drawable resource file I'll name this as tab indicator cool so instead of selector will have shape here and let me just close this project view and the shape we'll be using is rectangle and inside this will have solid will give it a color so I'll select a purple 200 and then I'll add some corners to it so corners bottom left and left and right so I'll so I'll use 30 dp and bottom right radius will be 30 dp as well cool so now in the activity main in the tab indicators we'll use this tab indicator drawable cool then i'll give it an id so we'll be giving it id as a tab layout then below that uh, we'll use view pager 2 from android x so let's keep it as a 0 dp width and height and I'll constrain this horizontal in parent and it's bottom to the bottom and it's top to the bottom of our view page our tab layout then I'll give it an ID so ID will be view page 2 cool so we're done for the activity main now we need to jump to the main activity uh, before that uh, let's just create two fragments so we'll be having two fragments uh, in this activity so, or you can say in this view page we'll be holding two fragments so for that uh, i'll create two fragments so i'll click on the package and fragment i'll select fragment blank i'll name it as a first fragment so i'm not gonna design the these two fragments so we'll keep it simple this will be second fragment cool so we'll go to the layouts and instead of this uh, can write first fragment and I'll select the layout gravity to center sorry not layout gravity it should be gravity only inside the frame layout yeah then this will work 
I'll give it a text color of black. I'll make it some bold. I'll increase the size to let's say 22 SP. Cool. So now I'll copy this and I'll go to this fragment second layout. I'll paste it over here and this time it should be second fragment. Cool. So we can now distinguish between our fragments. So we're not doing anything in the Java in Kotlin classes. So I'll close this, close this and close this. And we also don't need this. So I'll close it. Okay. So here we'll create to let in it where for our tab layout and our view pager two so private let in it where view pager two i'll find their ids here so tab layout goes to find view my id r dot id dot tab layout and then the view pager two find view by id r dot id dot view pager two so now we need to create adapter for this view pager two to display the different fragments first fragment and second fragment so what we'll do we'll create an adapter so i'll create one kotlin class i'll name it as fragment page adapter you can name it whatever you want so in this fragment page adapter we'll pass two parameters so the first will be fragment manager and another will be life cycle because we will be inheriting this fragment page adapter from our fragment state adapter so fragment state adapter and we need to pass these two parameters there so fragment manager and life cycle as you can see then i'll press alt enter to implement the methods so we get two methods here i'll click on ok and that's it so now in the gate item count we just have two fragments here so i can just directly return two here and inside the create fragment so here we need to display our fragments based on the position so if the position is equals to zero we'll display our first fragment uh, else we'll display our second fragment cool okay so we actually need to return this so i'll just try to return here i'll press alt ctrl l so that's done for the fragment page adapter I'll jump to the main activity and here we'll create another late init var for our adapter. So this will be adapter fragment fragment page adapter. Cool. So now we will initialize it as well. So adapter equals to fragment page adapter and I'll pass fragment manager. So which will be support fragment manager and then the life cycle cool so now we will add two tabs to our tab layout as we have two fragments so for that we can just write tab layout dot add tab and inside this tab layout dot new tab and we'll set its text as well so text will be first for the first fragment i'll just duplicate this line and this time this will be second cool then we will set this adapter to our view pager 2 so view pager two dot adapter equals to adapter cool so now we need to uh, so now in order to create a relation between tab layout and view pager two we need to implement two functions one for tab layout and one for view pager two so if we click on the second tab view pager should open second fragment and vice versa if we swipe the <clears throat> fragment from the view page it should open the tab second so yeah so for that uh, first with the tab layout so in the tab layout we get one function which is add on tab selected listener and inside this i'll pass object and the on tab selected listener so in here we get three methods to implement so i'll click on this object alt enter and i'll implement these three functions okay so on tab selected we just need to tell our view pager uh, which one is the current item so for that we write view pager 2 dot current item equals to tab dot position cool so we need to surround it with the null check 
and we don't need to implement this two functions so i'll just remove this to do's okay and below this so now the view pager 2 dot we implement this register on page change call back and inside this we need to pass the object on page change call back and in here we get three methods to implement and for us the important one is this on page selected so i'll click on that and we just need to notify our adapter which one is the selected tab so selected tab will pass tab layout dot get tab at this position that you get passed from this on page selected so this is how we will create a relation between our view pager 2 and tab layout so i guess everything is done so it's time to run the app so i'll click on this run button and i have connected my device as well so our application has been installed so if i click on this second you can see second fragment is popping up so if i slide this first fragment and yeah this is working so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching